Want to know what single board computer to buy as a Christmas gift? What's the best one to buy right now? What should you be considering? Well, today we are going to be seeing exactly what single board computer AI is suggesting us to buy. But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor, PCBWA. PCBWA is a service that will allow you to create custom PCB prototypes, flexible PCBs, PCB assemblies, CNC, 3D printing, and much more. And when comparing PCBWA to other PCB printing services, you might notice that PCBWA automatically upgrades all of their standard PCBs to TG150-160 for free. They also provide you with a quick order PCB section to help you pick and design your PCBs nice and quickly. PCBWA is also hosting a big Christmas sale, so get excited. 3D printing and CNC is up to 50% off, special deals on PCBs up to $435 in coupons, and much more on the sale. So check out the link in the description to find more info. So, I mean, let's just dive straight into it. So, and let me give you guys a quick disclaimer that anything the AI suggests does not mean that I personally suggest it as well. So, I will be mentioning what I suggest compared to what I, AI is suggesting, but just don't take AI for worse word because it can give false information or it can misinform the user so be aware of that but i will try to make that known in this video but let's start out with the prompt that i entered into ai so i opened up ai chat gpt right here and as the text prompt i entered seven specific singapore computer models to gift one for christmas and i made sure to mention compute singapore computer models because when i didn't mention that models it was giving me kind of just the general name of the Singapore computer company. It was just saying Raspberry Pi. It was just saying Odroid. I want really specific models. So that's why I mentioned models. But let's dive into what AI actually says. So here is what it says. So here are seven specific Singapore computer SPC models that could make great gifts for Christmas. So number one is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. This is a popular and versatile Singapore computer that is suitable for a wide range of projects from home media centers and game consoles to DIY cell phones and portable all-in-one computers so we see number one of course it's gonna say Raspberry Pi but let's break that down a little bit more do I actually suggest the Raspberry Pi for model B as a gift if you can find one go right ahead even though it is getting a little bit older now the Raspberry Pi 4 is still just an incredible Singapore computer like it says there there are many projects that you can do you can make home media centers you can make game consoles I don't really know about DIY cell phones it does mention that but hey maybe you can but hey the Raspberry Pi 4 is a great option I, I really don't need to go too deep into it everyone knows about it it's an amazing Singapore computer Let's head on to number two, which is the Odroid XU4. So the, it says this SBC has a powerful octa-core processor and is an ideal for projects that require a lot of processing power, such as video editing or machine learning. Okay, so if we look right here, I have never personally tested the Odroid XU4, so I really shouldn't speak too much about it, but when I look at its specs, it says that it has a Samsung Exynos 5422 Cortex CPU, and it only has 2 gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM on it. So, you know, that alone is not the best when you look at it. Um, it does have EMMC, USB 3.0, gigabit Ethernet, which is all really, really cool. And it's priced at $53 right now on sale. But if we look at another Odroid single board computer, which is the Odroid N2 Plus with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it's priced at $83. I have heard really, really great things about this one. This one has 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It has the very powerful S922X CPU chip. So, you know, if you're gonna looking for an Odroid board to do what it says in AI right here, which says video editing, which I know is kind of hard, even machine learning, I don't really know how well the Odroid N2 Plus is gonna do that, but I do know that the Odroid N2 Plus is an amazing Android machine. You're gonna be able to emulate tons and tons of games on it so if you're really looking for a powerful Odroid single board computer the N2 plus is one that you could consider 
And if you're looking for an Odroid board to use um, at, for home server or home projects, I do have the Odroid M1. I personally own it. And I can say if you're looking for something like that, a little bit low powered, check out that and check out my videos where I turn that into like a Docker machine because it has a lot of I.O. and possibilities like that. So for Odroid boards, I don't really know if I would recommend the XU4 that AI is recommending us right here. But again, I personally have not tested it. All right, let's go to number three. So number three, the Rock Pi 4. So it says this single board computer has a high performance processor and support for dual displays, making it a great choice for building a desktop computer or home media server. So where this is, it's kind of correct, kind of not. So it says that it has support for dual displays and that's only on one of the models. I own the Rock Pi 4 Model B Plus, which just has one full size HDMI port. Which honestly, I would prefer. I don't really, I don't think anyone really ever needs dual display on their single board computer, at least if you're going to be using it for desktop usage. Um, but again, the Rock Pi 4 still is a good single board computer. It really was good until recently due to the release of the Rock 5. So the Rock 5 is a new version, a new single board computer from Redaxa, but it's just it's just so much more powerful. It has the Rock chip RK3588, which is just an it's a crazy powerhouse, and you can get up to 16 gigabytes of RAM on the Rock 5. So that's where I don't really know if I would buy this Rock Pi 4 either that AI is recommending. Instead, I would go for that little bit more powerful Rock 5 new single board computer because that's just going to give you so 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 much power and if you want to learn more about those check out videos from youtubers such as eta prime he has made a video about it and number four we're going with the jetson nano so this single board computer is designed for artificial intelligence and machine learning projects and comes with a powerful gpu and a range of ai focused software tools so again I don't know too much about this Jetson Nano. I have seen videos on YouTube or ETA Prime's YouTube channel about it. But, you know, I'm really not going to go into this because if you're looking into the whole AI stuff, you're probably going to know a little bit more about this. So I'm just going to leave the Jetson Nano there and let you guys decide on that. So number five, we have the Banana Pi M2 Ultra. So it says this single board computer has a powerful processor and support for up to two gigabytes of RAM, making it suitable for a wide range of projects for home media centers and game consoles to DIY cell phones and portable all-in-one computers. So after a quick glance at the specs of this Banana Pi BPI M2 Ultra, I would not recommend this in today's age. So it says that this has um, a quad-core ARM Cortex-A7 CPU, but only 2GB of DDR3 SD RAM, 8GB of EMMC, Wi-Fi SATA, 2 ports, two USB 2.0 ports. Yeah, you know, this, this is a little bit underpowered for today's age. I don't really know why AI is suggesting us that because, yeah, I would not recommend that. That's a little bit low powered for today for it compared to competition. Um, And if you really were wanting some banana pie single board computer or they have showcased the BPIW3 single board computer that is going to come with that same RK3588 chip that the Redaxa Rock 5 is going to have. But, you know, I really don't know if I would recommend a Banana Pi single board computers. I haven't personally ever tested them. I just have heard that... You know, they can they can be a little sketchy and their social media managing is a little bit weird at times, I've heard. So I don't really know how much I can recommend the Banana Pi. Okay, for number six, we have the Orange Pi Zero. So it says this single board computer is small and inexpensive, making it a great choice for simple projects for those who are just starting out with single board computers. So again, after looking at the specs of this single board computer, I think I'm going to have to disagree. Um, this has only, you can get it either with 256 or 512 megabytes of DDR3 RAM and a 4-core 
probably a pretty low power processor. So it's just hard to recommend when you compare it to the competition that you could be purchasing. So the Redaxa Zero is a single board computer that I do own and test, and it's a really powerful single board computer for how tiny of a footprint it has. So if you're looking for a small footprint single board computer, the Redaxa Zero or the Redaxa Zero 2, which is even more powerful, are both ones that I could really recommend um, because they're tiny, but they do have immense power. So yeah, but again, the Redoxa Zero actually, it has some weird, weird stuff you have to do when flashing Linux and doing Android, changing the operating systems. And I have, I might have bricked mine. I'm not really sure. I just, so flashing the operating systems on it is quite strange. So that is one thing to consider and look into a little bit more before purchasing one of these single board computers. And finally, on our list for number seven, it has the Beagle Bone Black. And it says this single board computer is designed for use in embedded systems and IOT applications. It comes with a range of software tools and support for a wide range of sensors and actuators. So I haven't really heard of Beagle Bone ever before. I don't think it's a huge competitor, at least in the type of single board computers that I really examine on this channel. So I think I'm just going to leave it there. And if you want to learn more about it, feel free to Google it a bit more. And finally, AI says, overall, the best single board computer for a particular project will depend on the specific requirements and goals for the project. These seven single board computers are just a few examples of the many different options available on the market. So yeah, I think AI ends it pretty well here with a good statement that the single board computer you were buying maybe as a gift or for yourself will depend on the specific requirements and goals of the project that you want to compete complete so let's say you want a single board computer for a desktop usage well then you're going to want something that's kind of more powerful something like the new rock 5 that i just mentioned could be a really good desktop machine of course once it gets a little bit better linux support if you want, or if you want a desktop computer, something like the new Orange Pi 800, that is a whole computer inside of a keyboard, could fancy you. You might fancy and be like, oh, that's interesting. Or if you want a small single board computer, something like the Redaxa Zero or the Redaxa Zero 2, or even the Raspberry Pi Zero 2, could be something that you are interested in. So, you know, yeah, so there are tons and tons of interesting single board computers that you can check out. And maybe this video with AI has helped you to grasp some of the different possibilities of single board computers that you can purchase today. So, you know, if you find that if if you have other suggestions, hit me up down in the comments, and yeah. So let me know what you thought about this video, and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. So, thanks for watching. Oh, and please subscribe.